Hello everyone, so I'm here with my review of Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So this follows our main character Katie who has moved to West Virginia with her mother after her father's death. Katie's not particularly happy about it because she's starting over in her senior year and then she goes over to meet her next door neighbour and a very hot arrogant guy answers the door and he turns out to be Damon. Damon is arrogant self-loving and gets on Katie's nerves and then something happens and Katie finds out the secrets that Damon and Dee have been hiding. So first things first, I was kicking myself when I started reading this for not picking up sooner. I flew through this book because I got so sucked in and hooked and I loved every single character in this book minus Ash and Andrew but yeah, um, excluding them, everything about this book was just fantastic. So our main character Katie is such a relatable character because she's a book blogger, she does what I do, she writes reviews about books, she was doing her Waiting on Wednesday as well and I was like oh my god I do that so I felt, I felt an instant connection to her when um, I was reading about that. She was getting all excited when she was getting new books and when she got to write new posts. So yeah, um, I really connected with her straight away. Um, she's a really sarcastic, funny and genuinely nice character. Um, she will do whatever she can to protect the people that she loves. And yeah, she's just an amazing main character. And then we have Damon. So my first thoughts of Damon is, God, this guy is such an ass. Uh, that thought kind of continued throughout the whole book. But I really liked him. Uh, Damon is a very, very likeable character once you get past all the sarcastic and arrogant remarks. He can be an ass, he did annoy me a lot, but he can be such a genuinely sweet character and yeah, he was only being like that because he was wanting to protect his family and to make sure that no one got hurt after what happened before. So yeah, I understood exactly why Damon acted the way he did but he doesn't have to be so harsh about it. He's really funny with his jokes and his sexual innuendos and yeah, I just love Damon so, so much. I love Dee too. Dee is Damon's sister and I felt really bad for her because she's never got to have a proper normal friend uh, because of Damon. Um, he is always ruining everything because he's trying to protect her but Dee's such a nice, friendly character and I felt really bad for her that she wasn't able to make friends with humans because of Damon. So Adam and Matthew were the only two other looks in that I liked because Ash was a bitch and Andrew was a dick. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about those ones. So Luxon, they are the type of aliens that Damon, D and Ash and Andrew and all that are. Um, it means, it kind of means it's like light, uh, they can control anything that has to do with light so they can use like fire and stuff like that and it's pretty awesome what they can do with their powers actually. I was really intrigued by seeing what they could do and learning everything, it was just fantastic and I really really loved learning about their backstory and how they all ended up on Earth in the first place. Now, on to the part of the book that dominated the full story. The chemistry between Katie and Damon is freaking unbelievable. Like seriously, they had some serious chemistry and I was getting extremely frustrated because I just wanted them to get together so, so bad. And it was just this constant build of their feelings and it just kept building and building and then chapter 26 came and I was like ah oh. now if you haven't read this book I'm not going to say what happens if you have read it you know exactly why I was so happy and yeah um, why I was so happy and then angry at Damon <laughs> but yeah uh, chapter 26 was just oh fantastic the build up in their relationship was brilliant Katie and Damon have just this amazing chemistry, they're always fighting, arguing, but they're very passionate, both of them are very passionate and I just loved everything about them together. There was a lot of action in this book, we had the Adam who are the opposite of the Luxon, they control the darkness I suppose. The Luxon were having to fight them and save people because the Adam were trying to find out where the Luxon were and they were doing everything they possibly could to find them and didn't care what lengths they had to go to. 
and then there was a big fight scene at the end and holy crap that was just fantastic and oh yeah I had to go and buy the rest of the series after that because I was dying to find out what had happened to Katie after that so yeah um brilliant this was just a fantastic book and I'm still kicking myself for not picking it up earlier uh, but yeah um, I give this book 5 out of 5 stars and I highly highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet. So that was my review for Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.